Hi, beautiful people. My name is Lulame, and this is week six of the Master Key System. The Master Key System is a manifestation program written by Charles F. Hannell. Videos for weeks one to five are available on the, the page or the channel. So if you haven't already watched them, please feel free to go and check them out. And if you are enjoying the content, please hit the subscribe button. It keeps the, uh, the algorithm fairies nice and happy, which we like, because then more people get to watch them. And yeah, it's, it's just good to spread the love, I think. All right, so last week we were relaxing and visualizing a beautiful scenario with as much detail as we possibly could. And we're doing this because, let's say it all together, thought is a product of mind and mind is creative. How many times have you heard that since we started this? <laughs> a lot. And the repetitiveness of this is designed to just gradually build up our mental muscles. So right now we're in the gym, okay? We're doing some mental weightlifting, right? And it needs to be gradual so that we're setting ourselves up for success. I, I have to always remind myself of this because I like to rush ahead. Uh, uh, for example, if, you, if you've never done any weight training and you go pick up a 20 kilo dumbbell to do some, some, some bicep curls, girl, because you, you saw a TikTok video and you're like, mm, yes, that looks like a nice workout, you'll most likely struggle to control the weight and have the correct form. And you may actually even injure yourself, miss the whole point of the exercise and become totally discouraged from doing it again. We don't want that. Okay, we're not about that life. We are here to build steady, sustainable mental gains, okay? Um, and, and as you continue to do that, you'll see that things, uh, things really begin shifting for us, especially once we're in alignment with the universal laws. And one of the laws to keep at the forefront of your mind throughout all of this, just remember that you shouldn't infringe on the rights of anyone else. So, yeah, <laughs> I know. Hanel emphasizes this a lot, okay? Wish good for all the people that you encounter because ultimately we are all connected, we are all one. So what you wish for someone else, you're really wishing for yourself in a roundabout way. The greatest good to the greatest number and that'll ensure that you're in some, some form of alignment, okay? You're on the right track if you're thinking greatest good to the greatest number. All right. This week, Hanel explains that our nervous system is like an electrical system. If you think about electricity, the effects of, of, of electricity depend on what it's plugged into. Okay, so electricity can produce music, it can produce heat, uh, it can power a vacuum cleaner or give us lights. The nervous system is like an electrical system which is connected to the mind. And the quality of our thoughts um, determines what what manifests or what's expressed. So the key to creating what you want is to develop and exercise your power of concentration. All right. So uh, um, I don't know if you guys like to read biographies, but I love them. And most of the biographies I've read, most of the successful people, um, so many of them attribute their success to a daily habit of meditation. And this is because meditation teaches us to focus uh, and, and, and concentrate our attention is really like a magnifying glass that can harness the power of the universal mind and create real results. So throughout the course of this study, please don't get discouraged. Just be persistent. Okay, just be persistent. Just be persistent. <laughs> Persistence is king. As long as you continue to have the intention to do this and do little exercises along the way, you will get better and better and better. Keep practicing, keep going. Um, and going back to our magnifying glass analogy, you can't start a fire with a magnifying glass if you keep moving the glass around and changing your mind and doing this and doing that. You have to keep at it. Success is not necessarily about talent, genius, or having rich parents. There are a lot of very talented people who are sadly unsuccessful, uh, there are many geniuses out there who are languishing in poverty uh, or people whose parents had a large amount of money but are now broke. Um, clarity of intention and persistence and determination 
will lead to your success. In week one, when we started making all these videos, I was, I was so excited. I was bright eyed and bushy tailed. I don't know if you could tell in the video, but I was super excited and I really expected things to change because I'd done it before. So I was like, yep, I can just get right into it and start manifesting. The second week uh, of doing this was not great. Things did change, but not in a good way at all. Um, things were actually quite rough and difficult, but I decided to just continue persisting with all of the things, you know, I, I was just like, do the steps, do the things. Um, and I, I did start to see my life shift in a positive direction. Trust the universe, trust the process. I just kept telling myself that I can trust the intelligence that makes flowers bloom and embryos turn into babies. Because I think that's pretty fantastic and powerful. So I can trust that intelligence. Everything you're experiencing right now is a result of your past thoughts and actions. So to change the future, we have to begin to change, like just to think and act in a different way. Be kind to yourself during this process, but persist. Press on, be patient, um, keep your eye on the universe. And remember that the whole, the whole system follows natural laws. So you can't put a seed in the ground and then wait two days and, and go check and expect to see a tree. It's not gonna happen like that, sorry. You know, it's magical, but it's not like that magic. <laughs> All right, just, it'll take time to see changes. Keep watering the seeds, okay? Just, just, just keep at it. Um, so this week, we're going to be really starting to build our muscles of concentration. Uh, and one of the things that's been at the forefront of this is relaxing. So in previous weeks, we've been encouraged to relax and have a good time. And this is because when we're relaxed, our minds are open. Um, for example, it's a lot easier to learn the lyrics to your favorite song than it is to learn algebra equations. I mean, unless you love algebra, in, in which case, good for you. Okay, I, I, I was not a fan of algebra. But um, the reason why you can learn the lyrics to a song that you love is when you're listening to it, you're relaxed, you're having a good time, you're in the zone, your mind is open. And this is one of the reasons why you have um, uh, ads during TV shows. I mean, one minute you're watching your favorite episode of Seinfeld and you're laughing and you're open, you're having a good time. And then next minute you're singing along to a jingle for Bunny's Warehouse. Because lowest prices are just the beginning. And these guys are not silly. They really know how to harness this power. So relax, have an open mindset and just take it easy. All right. Um, and, and this is also another reason why um, in learning environments, Teachers are encouraged to create a safe space and create a relaxing environment for everyone because people learn a lot better when they're relaxed. Okay, so relax. I might want to say the word relax again just to be silly. Relax. <laughs> okay, just relax. Relax and try and have a good time about it. Um, but in the, in the back of your mind, have that intention as well. And you're slowly just, just watering the seeds. Um, uh, and, and, and building, building your will. So this week, you'll go to your usual place at roughly the same time and have a photograph with you, preferably a photograph of someone that you like, someone who brings you joy, someone you have fond memories of, just a nice photograph of a person. They do say picture a person. I don't know why that's important, but I'm just following what it says. Okay, so pic uh, have a picture of a person that you like or love and spend 10 minutes just looking at the photo and take in as much detail as you possibly can. The expression on their face, the look in their eyes, the texture of their skin, the way their hair is sitting, everything, the background, the, 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 the color, ev everything, everything. Uh, 10 minutes, study it for 10 minutes, and then cover the photo and close your eyes and try and see if you can see all the details in your mind's eye. And if you can actually do this, hey, you are making progress, baby. Okay, because this is really exciting because that visualizing, that being able to see things in your mind and being able to direct it with clarity and detail is where the power lives. All right. So keep doing this, do it. 
Um, they don't really specify whether you should do it for 30 minutes or so. I think that's a bit intense. Um, I don't know if you feel up to it, do it for, for 20 minutes. Um, and just keep doing it every day for a week. Take notes of anything that you notice happening. Um, I like to literally take notes. So I've got a journal that I keep track of all these things that are happening just so that later on I can look back and see all of the progress that I've made because it's encouraging along the way. And I can guarantee you if you're being consistent and, you know, just, just doing the things, you will see progress if you haven't started to see it already. Keep your chin up, keep going and... Um, yeah, so that's basically the end of the video. Uh, if you guys did like the video, give it a like because it gives me an indication of where you're at. And if you really loved the video, please share it with your friends. The more the merrier. Um, I hope you have a brilliant week. Take care of yourself. Do good things and wish good things for all people. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I, um, I hope you have a great time. Thanks. Bye.